Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of the CNBC TV 18 Commodities Camp brought to you in association with MCX. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to our guests here to this morning, Mr. Rajiv Agarwal, member of the FMC, Mr. Lamon Rutan, MD and CEO of the MCX, Dr. Chiragra Chakravarti, Director Deloitte, and Mr. Naveen Mathur, Associate Director, Commodities and Currencies at Angel Broking. Well, there was a time when investing in commodities traditionally had a low or even a negative correlation to equities, and in hard times, investors traditionally used to shift out of stocks and into the comfort of hard assets like commodities. Well, there was a time, as I said. At least that's the way it used to be. However, in the recent past, we have seen that there is a very strong correlation with commodities and equities. And one of the reasons that has been propounded behind this is the increasing uh, financialization of commodities and the subsequent ease with which investors can move in and out of commodities. Derivative markets in India have been functioning under the Forward Contract Regulation Act, which dates back to the 1950s. And it's no secret that in the last 60 odd years, the way international business is conducted, the way international finance is conducted has changed a lot. And therefore, we are here to discuss what changes are required, what policy reforms are required. And with that, I would like to uh, welcome our first guest on stage, Mr. Rajiv Agarwal, member of the FMC. Good morning to everybody. The commodity futures markets are supposed to serve to the physical market, provide a more robust price discovery, particularly for the future time, and also provide a platform for price risk management. Commodity futures markets markets have developed, developed exponentially in last uh, uh, six seven years, uh, and they have done a tremendous job in terms of price discovery and the uh, price risk management. But still, uh, further growth of these markets and uh, transfer of uh, benefits, full benefit of the these markets to the uh, stakeholders will be possible only when the whole ecosystem develops, and especially the the reforms take place in the uh, spot markets. We have got a physical market, a spot market, particularly in agricultural commodities. It has, it is highly fragmented. It is spread over s several thousands of mandis across the country, and the price discovery is being done in pockets. The futures market is a national market, but a national market can be created only when the spot market also is unified. There is uh, not much of unification of these uh, is spot markets even. Therefore, we would like these spot markets to unify and then the unification of spot markets and the futures market. That will require building up of uh, infrastructure uh, in, in terms of uh, warehousing capacity, uh, assaying facility, storage facility, uh, grading facility, testing facility and handling capacity. Uh, when, when all these things uh, will take place then it will be possible to, uh, to uh, optimize the uh, uh, trading of the uh, commodities and the arbitrage between the spot market and the futures market will also be facilitated. This will uh, bring much more competition and this will reduce the cost of transaction and the cost of intermediation. We have to understand that ultimately the regulatory capacity of the Forward Market Commission needs to be increased so that it may respond to the regulatory challenges being thrown by the, mar by, by the ever expanding market. The Forward Market Commission is regulating the futures market whereas other regulators are regulating warehouses and the spot markets. So in the times to come some kind of unification of these uh, regulatory spaces has to take place. We cannot consider the commodity futures market as a financial market as the other financial markets are. This market has to remain firmly connected and rooted into the commodity physical market. Therefore, all the policy action in future has to be in that direction. Thank you Mr. Agarwal for your comments on the commodity markets and the kind of policy reforms that are being sought. I would now like to call upon Mr. Lamon Rutan, MD and CEO of the MCX. Good 
morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to be here. As you uh, know, the uh, Indian uh, uh, commodity markets, commodity exchanges are old. Uh, they were uh, about the second uh, uh, to be introduced worldwide after the American exchanges back in the 19th century. Indian commodity markets are a uh, success story. India was among the first countries to introduce commodity futures exchanges back in the 19th century. And late 19th century, early 20th century, uh, Indian futures exchanges were among the world's leading exchanges, drawing international attention. We are very proud that over the past seven years we have brought India back to that position. MCX, uh, the largest exchange in India, is now the world's sixth largest exchange and uh, after uh, one of the Chinese exchanges, the world's fastest growing exchange. The true value of a uh, futures exchange is to contribute to the development of the underlying physical market. And we've done that. Uh, we have uh, a very large uh, gold contract. Uh, it will be hard to find uh, a gold trader in India, a gold processor in India, who does not use our platform uh, to manage their price risk. The sectors where we are active have already seen uh, large benefits. Physical markets have improved. Physical market players are better able to uh, manage their risks. As a result, uh, they are offering better prices to consumers. As a result, producers are getting better prices. We've seen investments in, in warehousing, in uh, grading, uh, in logistics networks. However, we can do much, much more uh, if we are allowed to do more. Now, in order for uh, that potential of commodity exchanges to be realized, we need strengthening of the regulatory framework. Another area where, uh, where we uh, see that uh, India is losing out and where we could be offering the solution is in service-related contracts. We can offer products uh, that are now used only by the largest Indian corporates who are able to use international markets. If you look at transport risk, freight risk, this is actively hedged, um, the risks are managed actively by the largest Indian corporates, but they do this in Singapore. We can bring that market onshore in India, we can open that market to Indian uh, small medium enterprises. If you look at the weather risk, weather risk is very important, for example, agricultural portfolio uh, lending. Uh, the risk of, that, of those loans uh, depends to a large part on, on, on rainfall. We can offer risk management instruments there that allow banks to lend money more efficiently. This requires the act to be amended. Um, there are supporting actions like the Warehousing Regulations Act that needs to be strengthened, that should be brought under the umbrella of an organization that understands commodity markets, that understands commodity futures markets. We believe that all of this we are able to deliver once the regulatory framework is in place. We do need uh, speedy uh, adoption of the Forward Contracts Regulation Act to strengthen our regulator and to widen uh, our possibilities to offer products in the Indian economy. And we need also a more comprehensive uh, view of the strategic importance of uh, properly developing commodity markets, which includes proper spot markets, proper risk management instruments, and proper warehousing. Thank you. Now I would like to invite Dr. Chiraga Chakravarti on stage. Community market as such is quite a bit different from the equity market. The commodities market, uh, it's not only the derivative part, but it has got various other markets which have uh, given in the circle. And uh, to, uh, to regulate this, there are regulators on the various angle. Now, if you want to compare the markets uh, or the what's happening in India and what's not happening in uh, uh, I mean other part of the world, the commodity classes, the products which is available, we uh, in internationally we have products on agriculture, livestock, energy, base metal, precious metals, weather, freight, as Mr. Rutten said, emissions, ba basic chemicals. In India, we have agriculture, energy base, uh, energy, base metal, precious metals, and emissions to some extent. 